Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about credit card authorization process in point of sale system. Last time we had a discussion on how the payment authorization works in the e-commerce website. First, what is credit card authorization? Payment authorization is the process through which card issuer or customer bank put the hold on the requested amount against the credit card when customer make the payment in case customer does not have sufficient amount in the credit card payment transaction is declined and authorization is failed and also order not placed authorized amount should be settled or captured before authorization period is expired once authorization is expired settlement cannot be made Authorization period can vary from 1 to 30 days depending on the type of card like if it's Bija, some card having 7 days, some card having 20 days of authorization period. I have also mentioned here one note in authorization no money is transferred into merchant account. There is no movement of money in the authorization process to any account at all. Only hold on the amount is put and that amount cannot be used by the customer and customer get the message about amount debit from the credit card for customer it seems money deducted from the credit card but behind the scene it is the hold on the requested amount actual money movement into merchant account happen at the time of settlement not at the time of authorization now let's see what is the actual process i have drawn one diagram which is showing the flow of the authorization in point of sale system some of you might have visited the point of sale i am sure and you might have noticed that when you pay when you make a payment with the help of credit card or debit card at the point of sale system you see one payment device where you insert or swipe your credit card or debit card yellow box is showing that device when business tie up with acquiring bank the acquiring bank provides that de device to them acquiring bank here having own payment processor and also merchant having the account in the acquiring bank so that's why it is also known as a merchant bank suppose you are at the point of sale system and you are swiping your card once you swipe your card payment device get the information from the card and it sends the payment details like credit card number all these details to the acquiring bank acquiring bank do validation of the request and if finds everything is fine with that request then it forwards the request to the card network a different card we have a different card network like for bija we have a bija card network for mastercard we have a mastercard network for mx amazon express we have a different card system so how acquiring bank understand to which card network the request needs to be sent so looking at the first digit of the credit card number it understand where to send the request or to which network card network the request needs to be sent so once acquiring bank understand that it forwards the request to that corresponding card network step 3 after card network received the request it validate it execute own fraud mechanism also do the small checks small validations if it finds the everything okay with the request card networks forward the request to the issuing bank the bank who has issued that credit card to the customer there are hundreds of banks so how card network understand to which bank that request needs to be forward 
so looking at the first six digit of the credit card number card network find all the details of the bank so first digits of the credit card number are also known as bank identification number so the help of those first six digits card network forward that request to the issuing bank once issuing bank receives the request of authorization it do small checks like if card is not blocked it is not expired it is active and customer having the sufficient amount to make the pay to proceed with the authorization request since all the checks are passed issuing bank sends the response as approved back to the card network if any of the checks is failed like customer don't have sufficient amount in the credit card then it issuing bank declined the authorization and the same it also communicates to card network in both the cases if transaction declined or authorized issuing banks trigger the message to the customer via email or sms so after card network receives the response from the issuing bank it forwards the response to the acquiring bank and acquiring bank check the response and if it is approved it sends the response as successful to the payment device and if it is declined then the same is also sent to the payment device uh, the point of sale person would give you parcel if it is declined then it will not give you parcel he will ask for the to try again or use the different way different payment method or cash here acquiring bank is working as the payment processor as well as the market the merchant bank so how many parties are involved in the in this authorization flow you can see swing bank card network acquiring bank merchant four parties so this is how the credit card authorization works in the point of sale system that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video